Before we get into this AMC stock video, I want to ask you guys to do a huge favor for me and follow my new channel, Stock Market Madness. From time to time, YouTube suppresses some of my AMC videos on this channel, so I will be posting more exclusive AMC videos on my new channel as time goes on. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I never take sponsors and I never try to sell you anything. I just make good content about the stock that we all love. So please subscribe, guys. It's the first link in my description. Bernie Madoff's firm handled 10% of all market orders. Ken Griffin Citadel currently handles 40% of all market orders today. Let that sink in. In this ape said, just looking at the S&P 500, Fidelity's and Citadel stocks in the S&P 500 orders for retail. 98.8% of all orders are non-directed. Hmm, maybe Fidelity wants to keep it this way. 50.1% of all market orders went to Citadel Securities LLC. 48.78 of marketable limit orders went to Citadel LLC. The breakdown of info is complicated. For example, it's not clear if we're talking about fully executed orders only or non-marketable orders, i.e. are they orders that never completed? The stack could be skewed by non-completed orders, don't know. Also, dollar values seem to not be reported. Since only orders are shown, dollar amounts are very important for understanding who controls the money flow because money equals power. How do AMC shareholders end short sales, FTDs, and lending capabilities? When does Ponzi scheme stop? Dr. T knows. Let's check it out. How are short sales fails to deliver and stock loan successful Wall Street strategies? Like any Ponzi scheme, they keep working as long as new money is coming in. When investors insist on buying shares directly from issuers without intermediaries, the music stops. And what we've seen over the past few weeks is when the music stops, it stops abruptly. It's not going to give any warning. It's not going to give you any indication. But when the music stops and things start to get bad, it's going to hit the hedge funds like a ton of bricks.